Hey guys, it's Emma from Tina Good Book, and in today's video, we are going to be making iced tea and trying some iced tea from the store. Four bags of tea, and I am using Touch Organic um, Mango Green. Okay, so there is the Touch Organics that I'm using. So we are waiting for the teapot to get little tiny fish eyes, but until it gets fish eyes, I'm going to talk about what I have. So, of course, you have your kettle and your tea bags, but you're also going to need a pitcher of some sort and some sugar, tea bags, and what I actually like to do when I'm making um, iced tea is to put some of the tea into an ice cube maker, and then that way, the tea doesn't get watered down when the ice cubes melt. I'm pretty sure it's raspberries and strawberries because I see two red fruits of some sort. And it's very good. Um, it contains 0% juice, even though it tastes kind of like apple juice, which is strange. So, the fish eyes are almost there. So, when it comes to the fish eyes, we will show you. The water has fish eyes, which means that we can stick these into it because you don't actually want the water to be boiling. Drop those in and take off the heat completely. And actually, we're going to take it off of this burner onto another. And then we're just going to stick this in and brew for five minutes. Stick the sugar into this right here because we don't want our ice cubes to be too sweet. You don't actually want to over brew green tea because it will get a kind of bad flavor. 12 ice cubes and a full pot of tea which we are going to stick into the refrigerator and freezer and then we'll be back. So first I'm going to do the Lipton, just adding in some ice, right. it looks kind of like apple juice, so I'm excited, well, I know what it tastes like, and I love what it tastes like, so, now these are my ice cubes, so, I have the mango tea cubes, I guess they would be called. Um, and now I have the cold tea, which I'm just going to pour on top. So you can already see a difference in color here. But look at that. And keep in mind, these are both green teas. So we're going to go over to the table and try these. All right, let's taste these things. Okay. Homemade first. Homemade first. Green, it's green and it's mango. It's, it's got a fuzzy mouth feel like if you're eating a peach. Very cool. And now, the store-bought. Mm, the taste is fuller and richer. More artificial. I like this one better. I this one the homemade. This one just has a more I don't know. I find that when you're making iced tea at home, you can never really get the recipe quite right. It's less sweet. Because she only put in a little sugar. Which I prefer. I don't really like iced tea because it's always sweet. This one's more feeling. What's your mouth feel? Yeah, this one's kind of fuzzy and it's cold all the way down. But this one is a more tongue-only kind of green. And I want to thank the person who gave me this as a gift. That was very nice of you. I thought I'd let you know Emma really enjoyed it. Yeah, 
I mean, for me, the more southern tasting one is this one, but the one that's probably a little bit better in all aspects is this one. But would you go to the store and buy this one? Yes. Okay. But if I wanted to change up the flavors to something that only I had, then it would be this one. And I just add more sugar. So you'd really like to do it both ways. I think I'll stick to the hot tea. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this. We hope that you'll like it enough that you'll want to click that like button. Until we tea see you again. Until we tea you again. Make time for tea and a good book.